Bravo, runway. Civil aircraft today are individually less noisy than ever before in the history of powered flight. The noise level of an aircraft can vary considerably depending on how high it is above the ground, whether it is directly overhead, whether it is arriving or departing, and also the weather. Noise measurement tests are therefore required in order to establish noise levels during specific flight phases for certification. There are three measurement points. Approach, on the runway axis, 2,000 meters before the threshold. Takeoff flyover, on the runway axis, 6,500 meters from the brake release point. Sideline, laterally, 450 meters from the runway center line at the point where the noise is at its maximum during takeoff. The noise in approach is mainly caused by airflow around the aircraft fuselage, wings and landing gear, as well as the operation of systems such as air conditioning. At takeoff, it is due to the engines delivering high power. The target of the tests is to compute a level of noisiness called effective perceived noise level and not the maximum level of noise. It takes into consideration the intensity of the noise perceived by the human ear during a short period around its maximum. The unit used for the computation is the effective perceived noise decibel or EPNDB. It is not uncommon to perform two noise measurement campaigns on a new aircraft type. The first, with a limited number of test points in approach, allows engineers to determine if some aerodynamic or system modifications could reduce noise levels. The demonstration of low levels of noise could also be an advantage in obtaining optimized slots for operation on some airports. The second campaign is for certification. The choice of the appropriate airport for the tests is difficult. The traffic should be low to avoid having to interrupt the measurements frequently. In addition, there should be no other noise source around the measurement points, such as cars on a highway, and the terrain should be flat. Nowadays, Airbus performs these tests at Moron Air Force Base in southern Spain. The regulations impose many stringent conditions for microphone installation. To ease the measurements and the corrections, an array of many microphones is usually set up close to each location, for example, on the approach axis. Very precise tracking is necessary to carry out the test and then to determine the accurate trajectory for the data reduction to compute the corrections. For this purpose, Airbus uses a differential GPS, also called DGPS. The regulations require that the measurements be performed in precise weather conditions. However, these are almost never met. The post-flight data processing takes into account the parameters linked to the transmission of the noise on ground, such as humidity and temperature, to compute the noise level in the reference conditions. The optimum conditions for corrections are sometimes found at night. The weather conditions must be checked between the ground and the altitude of the airplane when over the measurement points, at intervals of less than one hour. This may be performed with a balloon, a light airplane or a drone, equipped with the appropriate instrumentation. The target of the tests is not only to get the maximum value of the noise, but also to compute the noise level in various operational conditions, for example with different weights. For the approach measurements, the gear is extended and the flaps are in landing configuration.
The target is to compute the noise level in approach under the standard approach slope of 3 degrees in all flight conditions. To ease the computations, a large number of measurements is performed with different thrusts and therefore different slopes targeting the measurement point. The aircraft is stabilized in level flight on the runway axis at the approach speed. When reaching the computed descent point, the pilot initiates a descent on the required slope and adjusts the thrust in order to overfly the approach reference noise measurement point at 120 meters. The thrust, the slope and the speed are maintained during the entire descent until just after the measurement window. The pilot must fly the required trajectory very precisely. For example, the lateral tolerance is around 20 meters. The approach speed must be maintained with a precision of 3%. The test is followed by a go-around at very low altitude. During development, some measurements with the minimum idle thrust and the gear up or down may be performed. When the thrust is low, the go-around must be performed without delay after passing the measurement window as the thrust increase may take some time when at minimum idle. In addition, when the thrust is very low, the thrust increase on the engines may not be symmetrical and the crew must be wary of this potential asymmetry at low speed. All the tests with very low thrust require particular attention. The computation of the noise level at takeoff is more complex, as there are two measurement points. In addition, according to operational procedures, the thrust reduction to climb thrust with a modification of the rate of climb may be performed before passing the flyover reference noise measurement point. To ease execution, the tests are carried out without any thrust change until above the flyover point. Instead, they include climbs with different engine thrusts, from takeoff thrust to climb thrust. This procedure allows the noise level to be computed in all operational conditions at both measurement points. To reduce cost and time and avoid multiple landings and takeoffs, an equivalent procedure is accepted by the certification authorities, starting by a low level fly pass to join the computed takeoff trajectory. Then the thrust is immediately increased to the target value to follow this planned trajectory. The speed is maintained at the standard value of the initial climb after takeoff with a tolerance of 3%. These tests are repeated with different takeoff weights and in all takeoff configurations to cover all operational conditions. Noise measurement tests require tight coordination between the crew members, the control tower and the team in the noise measurement station. They are challenging as there are many repetitive low approaches and flyovers that need to be performed with great flying precision. In addition, the crew must be especially vigilant as some low approaches are performed at minimum thrust. Usually, for the certification of a new aircraft type, four or five flights are performed with more than 100 test points to obtain the data needed to be able to compute the noise levels in all flight conditions.